so I did a video before about uh, torque wrenches and using little wrenches and stuff for your SMAs. Kind of came to the conclusion that uh, if you're going to be using them on things like a tiny SA where it's soldered to a PC board, you're going to you might be able to, to break the PC board uh, solder connection or the actual connector itself by using these tools. And it's better to just kind of hand tighten these things as good as you can. Um, I think I found a better solution. Um, when I was talking about this, it reminded me of when I was doing this work. I, I kind of did RF work back in the 19, around 1985. And in the lab, we had these things all over the place. And they were these little uh, plastic donuts that you put on the, uh, on the connector and then you could spin them by hand. And it's hard to over, even though you can crank down pretty good with them now, it's still going to be a little bit less than the uh, torque wrenches. So this might be a good way to, to use it with your, uh, with your nanos and, and tiny SA and stuff. Uh, so... Uh, you can still buy these things. Uh, companies used to just give them away. And I think if you're a customer of the big companies, yeah, you just get these for free. Um, I got these on eBay, though. These were uh, from uh, Bracky, uh, Baraka, the SMA Finger Wrench, okay? And I got uh, 10 of them for, I think, $8. This is in Newport, Newport Beach. Uh, anyway. Uh, so yeah, so this is what I remembered from my uh, early days, um, and uh, they don't. These particular ones don't work quite right. Uh, these allow you to go on the on the connector just fine, but they but they but they fall off. And the ones that I'm used to go on and and and, and kind of stay on. They, they, that you can slip slip them on, and then there's a splint in it here, and then these act kind of like a spring, and they and they hold on. The other thing I don't like about these is that the gap here is super, super tiny. So anyway, I searched around on the internet, and uh, I discovered that there was another company, I forget the, forget the company's name, another company who also had wheels, and um, they had a mechanical drawing uh, for their wheels, okay? And I took their mechanical drawing and created a CAD file and then 3D printed my own. So, so these, these are 3D printed with my, with my printer. And you can see that uh, when you put them on this here, they don't, they don't fall off, so, so they stay on, which is what I like. And also, uh, the gap at the end allows you to go over the, so if it's already on something, you can go over the cable, like the RG174, you can go over that and then and get out. And in fact, even this big, even this big fat cable here, um, the gap is, uh, the gap is just fine and you can, you can go over the gap. Okay, so my particular um, uh, 3D printer just does PLA polyvinyl acetate, or some, some type of things. And it's a little bit brittle, okay? Uh, it doesn't flex. If you flex it too many times, it breaks. I've made a lot of things that have springs built into them, and after a few flexures, they break. So it's, it's a bit, it's a bit uh, fragile in, in, that, in that response. It'd be, it'd be better if they were like ABS plastic. ABS can take the spring just fine, right? All right, so... Um, my friends over at uh, PCB Way offered me um, not only free PC boards, but uh, they gave me some. They gave me some swag too. They gave me uh, some. They always give me stuff. They gave me PC boards and a uh, little notepad. And so uh, they said, you know. We like your videos that you've been doing on PC boards and stuff. If you'd like to try your other services, feel free. So they have um, 3D printing. Uh, they have uh, actual CNC in st steel and aluminum and stuff. They have uh, aluminum chassis uh, bending and stuff like that. So I thought I'd give them a try. Um, so I took my design that I did and I had them 3D print them. And so if somebody doesn't have a 3D printer, but want some stuff built that's designed for 3D printers, you can just go over to PCBWay and have them print it for you. And it's, it's reasonably cost, the cost is reasonable. Um, these uh, I had made out of ABS, and so they are exactly mine. Um, if you push on this one, you can kind of see it flexes a little bit. You push on this one, and it, 
it does flex as well. It's a bit more maybe more robust, but it, it has the nice spring and it has a real real tight spring too because it's a harder harder uh, poly um, polymer. So yeah, these are really really nice. So I had uh, I think I had twenty I think I had twenty of them printed for me. Um, but yeah, they come out great. ABS. You can you can choose what they all have. They have a whole bunch of selections of different types of filaments, so you can choose any anything you want. So I might I might have to go back and see other things they have, and maybe maybe three three D print some things in the future. But yeah, these are these are these are super nice. So I'm going to be doing some CAD, some three D uh, CNC work as well in aluminum. Uh, so that will be coming up on the channel soon. But yeah, I really really like these things. And like I said, um, if you're going to screw them onto something, uh, it allows you to uh, it allows allows a couple things. One is it allows you to give a nice torque on it, but it also allows you to um, come square onto the part. Sometimes it's kind of hard to tell if you're square or not with with the SMAs. And by having this big ring on it, it it it's kind of automatic that you that you put it on square. Um, so, so yeah, this is, uh, this is super nice. Um, so, um, not only do they have a share site for PC board stuff, they have share sites for, for other things as well. So, um, I've put these up, uh, this particular design up on my share site now on PCBWay for 3D printed stuff. Uh, so you can get those. Uh, I think I put up there also my, uh, can I, can I, can I get a hold of this thing? Uh, I designed this little holder here for the uh, calibration standards, and I put that design up there as well. If you want to download that or have them uh, have them print it for you, um, but yeah, these little wheels. And like I said, uh, if I have something more more robust here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put this on my uh, my spectrum analyzer, okay? And I'm going to uh, I'm going to tighten it down, okay? So. That's pretty, that's pretty tight, okay? Now I'm gonna pull this over. Now I'm gonna take a torque wrench and I'll put a torque wrench on it and tighten it. And yeah, it moved, it moved quite a bit with the torque wrench. And so even cranking down with these wheels, you're, you're not gonna over, over torque things. And you can kind of get a good idea of that. I'm gonna put this back on. Now I'm gonna take it off with my fingers, okay? Or attempt to. <laughs> okay, so let me push this on here. There we go. Now it's on there. I'm going to take it off my fingers. Oh, jeez. Oh. oh, man. Ouch. No, so I can't do it. <laughs> I mean, my hands are kind of weak because I'm an old man, but uh, no, it's, it, putting a torque wrench on there is really, really, uh, it's really, really tight. Um, super, simple, super easy with the torque wrench, but um, like I said, uh, I don't think you can get into trouble with these, um, oops, sorry. I don't think you can get into trouble with these rings. I don't think you can over tighten these rings with your fingers. At least mine, it hurts. So if it starts to hurt, stop. <laughs> there you go. That's your, uh, that's your torque wrench. If it starts to hurt torque, you're torquing too much. Anyway, there you go. Lots of wheels to play with. And like I said, uh, grab my design, print it yourself if you have a 3D printer uh, or have them print it. Um, and uh, yeah, I think it was about Trying to remember about, I don't remember, two or three dollars a piece to have them to have them print them. So yeah, that's not too bad.